Good evening, everyone. Hope all is well. My name's Rudy Page, and I'm really pleased to have an international dias fellow diasporian, Gary McCook. He's the founder, president of JII FSC, and he's going to tell us a lot more about that. We've got some exciting news for the Diamond Jubilee celebrations throughout the Jamaican diaspora for next year. Welcome, Gary. How are you? Thank you, Rudy. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much for taking your taking the time out to, to talk to us on our platform. So here in the UK diaspora, we have the Homeward Bound um, program for Jamaica 2022 Diamond Ce Celebrations, partners such as um, Diamond Travel, Jamaica Tourist Board, Fresh FM Radio London, Back the Culture, which is the big Jamaica, um, Jamaican Heroes Modern Lies, the, the Glee, Gleaner UK, um, GP1, Asterix. We've got a lot of diaspora-led businesses all, coale all coalescing around this homeward bound for Jamaica next year. So, Gary, tell us a bit about yourself, your business, and what you do before we get into the festival. Well, I am a uh, real estate broker uh, here in the state of Georgia and in New York. Um, I am also the owner of a uh, personal care home, a 10 bedroom facility for elderly folks. Mm -hmm. And um, I am the president and founder of uh, JII FSC. Mm -hmm. I'm also the president of Gabju Records, um, the sponsors of the JII FSC uh, competition. Uh, uh, sponsoring with uh, Axim Records. So um, I, I have a lot on my hand, but I, I find a way to always try to uh, serve the community. So um, it's been a good experience. Great, great, great. So can you tell us a bit more about, about the, the awards and the, the competition in terms of JII, FSC, Yes. And um, no, why did you think there was a need for an international festival of this kind? Well, you know, uh, over the years, I'd say from about 2017, um, I, I started having conversations and realized that there were artists here who uh, wanted to do something on that format, but there was no platform. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I reached out and um, realized that we had to do it here ourselves. Uh, to get the exposure that we needed. Um, so um, uh, to, between 2017 and 2019, they, the groundwork uh, was done. And then in 2019, I decided, yes, it can be done, did all the research and decided, realize it can be done. And um, just uh, went out on faith. And um, here we are today having a conversation about JII FSC. Yeah, congratulations, considering everything up to 2019 is before COVID. So of course, a lot of plans that we put in place um, means that we've had to adjust, but of course we never give up when, once we've got a dream and ambition. That's great. That's so great. Congratulations on that. Mm -hmm. so, so what is the criteria to enter the competition? Well, um, you have to be a Jamaican or of Jamaican descent mm -hmm. uh, residing in the diaspora. Mm -hmm. um, so that way we're not competing with our island home of Jamaica. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that was specific that we kept it that way. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's working and it will work once we keep it, you know, focused on uh, these artists here who are here and they're hungry for that platform. And um, we did create the platform. So it's a historical event mm -hmm. and we did create the platform and um, we were pleased with the results we had. E excellent. So, so what was your experience, this being your first year of the competition? Uh, challenging in that um, uh, your, your sponsors, from a sponsor standpoint, um, uh, the sponsors are gonna be a little skeptical of who you are and what you're doing, because this is all new. And in the world today, there are so many uh, scams going on. So we, 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 we encountered some hesitation but um, we, didn't, we never gave up. Um, we were able to locate um, uh, some sponsors to, to get the ball rolling. Um, uh, in terms of uh, 
started. We started late, um, but again, I surrounded myself with a team of great individuals who are interested and have a love for the country, Jamaica. So we, we made it happen. Um, so from a standpoint, the sponsors, um, late start, but um, we came through. Excellent. And I'm sure Parry Hines must be one of those team yeah. members. Yes, yes. Parry, Parry came on board as our production manager. And uh, I can tell you, he, he did a, a tremendous job. And um, we, we're, 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 we'll be forever thankful to him uh, for, for his collaboration. Yeah, no, he's, he's a great guy, great networker as well, which at the end of the day, we have to network. I mean, it's good for all of our businesses, whatever That's uh, sector we're in. That's great. So, so what is your expectations and goals for the future of the competition? Well, using, using this year as the, the benchmark, um, I see it continuing and it's gonna expand. Um, we had a deadline this year of May 31st for entrance and um, we got an overwhelming um, uh, request after that for us to extend the, the date. Mm -hmm. So that tells us that next year being the 60th year, um, we're, we're gonna have a, a slew of people trying to enter which is good for us, it's good for the diaspora, um, because we have now unearthed um, something that was uh, basically latent or hidden for a long time and giving them the platform that they deserve. Now, that's great work. And talking about that, I'd like to talk a bit about us here in the UK. Yes. And, um, you know, as I've mentioned, I'm the director of cultural and commercial affairs for Fresh FM Radio London. Um, earlier on this year, we were recognized by the Ministry of Culture in Jamaica. So we played an active role in um, Reggae Month Jamaica. And yeah. we, you know, we ran a number of forums and not, not just about the, biz the, the music itself, but also about the business of reggae. So we had all different speakers. And we look back at the past and reggae's, you know, development in the UK, as you know, that's was a significant part of reggae's globalization uh, over the years. And um, we focused on women in reggae, so it was very inclusive as well. We focused on some of the stalwarts, some who sadly left during this period of time. We had um, a special feature, women in reggae as well. We had a women in reggae forum. And then during the month, the International Women's Month, we actually had um, across the station 20, 28 female artists all in the reggae industry, played their music, those who were producers, you know, did bios on them. So we think it's really important to be inclusive and encourage the, 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 the role that the diaspora has played as it, as it relates to reggae music, both as performers and also as um, the, the business of reggae. We've had some great pioneers like Hugh Francis and people like that. There's, the list is long. So our latest thinking, which is why we're really glad. Owen Winter is the founder of Fresh FM Radio London, and I'm sure you'll get to meet him very soon. And so we have a program called Talent, Talent Quest, which we've launched this year. And, uh, you know, we, we would really like Talent Quest to be linked with, you know, with your festival, we think is an uh, excellent idea for the diaspora as it relates to, um, you know, to, to, to next year. So before we go into more details on that, could you, could you tell us what happened in this year's competition as well? How, how did all that work out? Who, who won, you know, et cetera, et cetera. How, how many people took part, et cetera. That would be great to hear. Yes, so we, we had over 20 entrants, mm -hmm. and that was between uh, March and um, the end of May, which I think was a good feat for a first mm -hmm. year. Um, and uh, since you're talking about England and London, um, one of our greatest ambassadors who entered the competition was Zena Banks uh, okay. from London, uh, singing Promised Land. A, a, a great energy, great young lady, and uh, she, she did well. She, um, she was in our final seven. And um, she, unfortunately, she could not make it here to perform. So she sent in a, a, a virtual video and she did well. 
But um, so we had 20 plus, and then uh, we broke it down um, to 12. And then um, once we had 12, we, we had a fan participation. So fans were able to go on and vote for their favorite song. And um, they, we, we come up, came up with some percentages. So that their, 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 their vote plus the judge's vote um, was the decision maker for the, the final seven. And then um, with the final seven now, uh, we were fortunate, although there's COVID out there to have six of those seven, uh, which included Zena uh, in person uh, um, at uh, Caribbean Live Television Studio in uh, Stone Mountain to perform. Uh, so it was a good uh, experience um, having them there in person. Um, it was interesting to see the camaraderie between uh, people who are vying for the same prize. Um, yeah. I've been to other places and they, I have never seen that camaraderie, but these six artists um, showed um, how professional they were as artists. And um, I think it's a true reflection of what we have here in the diaspora. And I know uh, next year, we're gonna be able to expose a whole lot more of these talented artists who still have a love for Jamaica, still have a love for reggae, and um, just want to showcase their talents. Yeah, that, 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 that's great. And of course, you see our slogan, collaboration is great. And that's exactly what, what you're saying really, isn't it? So, so who, who was announced as the winner and, the, and what does it mean for them? Well, the, 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 winner, the winner was, um, uh, certi, the song was Certified Yardy. Okay. Uh, and they, they, the winner is uh, La Villusia out of Canada. Um, so he, he was the one, I mean, it was uh, a very tense competition, I must say, because all, all any of those seven uh, finalists could have won. But um, he, he stood out um, and um, his song now, it's, um, it's like a new anthem, they say, for Jamaica. Um, it, it was so good that um, in England, there was a um, independence uh, service being held yesterday and um, they extended an invitation to Lavi for him to um, uh, give a three minute clip of you know, what his experience was with JII FSC and also to play his um, certified Yardi. So um, we, are, we are glad that that was a song chosen because um, it's a good representation for us in the diaspora and for us as Jamaicans and, uh, and for Jamaica and uh, it being our first year. So it's a good combination. Um, he, he himself, that was his first uh, performance on stage, um, second song he wrote, and um, so it, it's a good look. And um, all we, we congratulate all the artists that entered. We thank them because without them, we could not have a competition. So uh, big up to all the artists who entered this year. And that sounds great. And we certainly, in Fresh FM, we will feature over the next few weeks as we move from August being up, obviously we've got Marcus Garvey Day coming up and then we move through to right through to October, which is uh, Black Heroes, sorry, Black History Month here in the UK, as well as of course Heroes Day in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, so we give a commitment to feature all the songs, all the finalists on a regular basis and any, any other information you'd like to send, we'll, we'll happily uh, play that. So congratulations to the winner. So um, just Gary, just before we, just before we close for, on this occasion, so do you have any parting words for artists and reggae fans? Well, I, I, I would say to them, um, just do your thing. Um, you, it, it's, it's already in you, um, just unearth it, get in the studio, um, think that here is your opportunity that you've been waiting for. Um, it's it's, it's going to be a grand event next year, the 60th year of um, our independence. So I'd say to them, you know, uh, start focusing. You know, um, the, the quali quality is very important to us uh, at, here at JII FSC. And it, it was good that this is the first year we got that quality. So it, a benchmark has been set. Um, if they listen to the songs, they will see what we're talking about and just, you know, come with what you got, give it all you have. Um, the beneficiaries are going to be us here in the diaspora and the people in our island, Jamaica, that we so love. 
So I would encourage them, start from now, get your entries, go to the, the, the um, studio, do your practicing, and um, we look forward uh, to welcoming them uh, for the uh, 60th uh, and year of independence. That's great. And um, Talent Quest will certainly be part of that. That, That's um, that story, which I, I'm so pleased. Yes. And of course, as you said, the message is in the music. It's in the music. Fantastic. So everyone, I'm, I'm pleased to have uh, had um, Gary McCook on, on this platform, the president, founder of JIIFSC. And he's from Atlanta, Georgia, in terms of where he's based. Uh, and, uh, and a diasporian business. And also he thinks about the community and giving back into the community, which is an integral part of our work for next year in terms of uh, Jamaica. And you've heard me say it so many times around youth development and the succession planning, that as we say, young people need somewhere to go young people need something to do young people need someone to show them how and that's the essence that drives our homeward bound program for next year so thank you very much gary we shall talk soon take care thanks again for having me rudy have a good, good night all thank you <laughs>